Hi everyone, it's Evsky at your fashion drawing tutorials and in this class we are going to render this Carven look from fall 2016 ready to wear show. We are going to render PVC trousers, sweater, then a puffer jacket and black leather boots. To download free printable template for this tutorial just click the link in the upper right corner. Using warm grey for I'm showing the crew neck of your sweater and here we have some folds because of the movement, some shadows under your puffer jacket and just below. So as marker is drying let's deal with your puffer jacket. I'm using cool grey too, just color everything with one layer. Now take warm grey for one more time and let's just repeat what we've done before. And then color everything with the same marker. So you can work like this with any color that you want to show this type of knitwear. One more time showing the details and the shadows with warm grey 4 again. And then take cool grey 4 and let's show the wrinkles. On a puffer jacket we have wrinkles along the seams and also when one part of the jacket is attached to another one because there we have seams too. So as you can see that area that I colored with cool grey 4 around it we have the seams so there are some these strokes. Here we have sleeves attached there is kilting on the sleeves, so we show the shadows there too, because kilting is made of seams. Here we have some kilting too. So on this side it's very similar. Seams. So using cool grey 2, I just want to make a bit more smooth transition from cool grey 4. And then I also want to show some very light shadows. Mostly I color the area adjacent to cool grey 4 1, so just next to it. I'm, I'm not coloring the center of each section of the jacket. Showing the ribbed cuffs with a fine liner, showing the kilting. Actually, with your fine liner, you can show the seams and also some really deep wrinkles on the jacket. Now, please take your white ink gel pen and show the buttons. Next part is optional. If you use a special marker paper, then turn it upside down and use warm grey 5, just color several times on the area with a sweater. Ba bam I love this effect, it just makes this special grain. I colored your Celtic necklace with a buttercup color, it's very pale yellow. And now I'm just adding shadows with black pencil. I mean, it's the same places where we have wrinkles or the area under some big details of your puffer. I'm just adding contrast like that. Next, I'm just making some dots with umber color of pro markers. Hey, this is our sandpaper put it underneath and now I'm using brown pencil and making these vertical strokes. So you see we get this special texture. And then I'm using just very lightly white pencil. We don't need a very strong highlights on a knitwear. With a black pencil I'm showing your crew neck and adding more texture. So it depends on color you can add any color. I'm showing the shadows 
Now get rid of uh, sandpaper underneath and let's add more shadows just below your jacket. So that detail of your puffer, I'm coloring it with cool gray 5 and then adding a little bit of black pencil to make it super dark. Okay, so your PVC trousers. Right now I'm using chestnut color, it's reddish brown. So usually PVC used for clothing is quite thin, thinner than patent leather, but as reflective. So wherever there is a tension of uh, fabric, you can see it. Right now you can see that in her knee area there is a star, white star. That's actually the top of her knee and top of the wrinkles. And there is a tension because she just uh, bending her knee. So now I spread chestnut color on solid surface and mixing cool gray too with this chestnut and coloring that area white area. So don't worry about your cool gray, just spread it on clean paper later and it will become clean cool gray too again. And start from the brown area and then go to the center, so then you'll make a smooth transition. So it works just like uh, paints. With cool gray too I'm drawing the folds and most of them are diagonal lines heading to the tension points like knees or crotch. Now I'm using chestnut again, but mostly on the sides and inside the wrinkles to build this contrast. outlining the sides and now I'm using black marker be careful I'm just adding a little bit on the sides under her sweater and near her crotch and now I'm using cool gray 5 for the lower part of your trousers and just between some of the wrinkles in the knee area deep fold So you can start from cool gray 5, so you can start from shadows, it really depends on which way you prefer. So here I'm showing more of shadows in the low part because this is a leg that she's bending more and low part receives less light. So here we work in a very similar way. Take your fine liner and let's outline your trousers so the edges are very sharp because uh, PVC is very smooth and we need uh, very smooth outline. My favorite part, we are adding the gloss. So I'm making these wavy lines. Sometimes you make just strokes, longer, shorter, and of course we are drawing not on random places, but the most lead parts. So top of the folds, the center of trousers. So I'm using white pencil for the darkest area, so it's not really strong highlights. So now we're dealing with her boots. Color everything with black marker. Next, I'm using apricot color for the soles and then showing the texture with brown pencil, 
the lower part of your soil just ballpoint pen now stitches with white ink gel pen and now using white pencil showing the reflection of light just these strokes that becoming smaller and smaller and that point don't forget it at the two of the shoe and now showing the shoelaces so we finished this sketch this is our final result i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please click the like button subscribe for more tutorials share your questions and suggestions follow sketcher on instagram and pinterest and see you next tutorial